Hey everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I have a very special project I wanted to document and to share with all of you. I have a um, a lady who's a, not only a co-worker, but I consider her a good friend of mine um, that recently received the news that she has been diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, so I wanted to create a journal for her that she could use to record her process and um, through the surgery, recovery, treatment. Um, my own mother, she is a breast cancer survivor and um, had some other medical issues and I know that when she had kind of a journal to document, um, you know, her her process through that, through that um, health issue she had, I know it meant a lot to her to kind of have some place to kind of write her thoughts down and her feelings, to put pictures, mementos of her hospital stay, things like that, of when visitors came, that kind of thing. So um, when we found out this um, news this week, I just knew I wanted to make something for her. Um, she's a, a wonderful friend. She was actually the coordinator for my wedding and um, I've worked with her for over eight years and she just has a real special place in my heart and try not to be too emotional because um, you know it's she's she's gonna be fine she's got an amazing positive out um, attitude and outlook and um, a faith in God so I know she's gonna be fine it's just you know just it's just not something you always want to hear that you have a friend that's been diagnosed with breast cancer so or you know of any type of cancer so what I wanted to do was just to kind of do a video just to show you guys um, the beginning of this journey um, of the of the album for her and kind of show you when I'm when the album's completed. I'm not going to do any video documenting um, during the process. I just wanted to kind of show you what I was starting from and then um, where it's going to end up once it's done. So I'm starting this and I need to get this done in just a couple of days before she leaves um, to you know on her medical leave. So um, I just want to go ahead and get started. So the base of the um, the the album, the journal is going to be. Let me try to. It's going to be this album here. This is. I know it's black. I'm actually wanted this kind of um, blank canvas like this because I'm actually going to cover this. And there are some other ones that were lighter in color and whatnot, but they had a lot of pattern or they were kind of plasticky coating. It was. It just wouldn't have been um, the right um, cover for me to, to alter this. So this is um, an album and it's basically just paper covered cardboard so it's easy to alter and inside are these already photo sleeves and what I'm gonna do is um, you know take some of these out cut them in half so they're just loose let me back up one step actually this is kind of the idea of the journal I want to make this is one I made for my daughter a while back and basically it's kind of like my version of a smash album so I'll just go through this quickly because this isn't what this is about but just to kind of give you the idea of how I have like some tags in between some journaling spots things like that some pockets some clips that's kind of the idea of where I'm going with this one but of course this one will be more geared to um, you know focusing on her journey through the breast cancer and um, just a place for her family to write notes and record mementos taking pictures things of like that just something for her to kind of look back on and I'm actually going to name the journal my journey so the, my thought process is I'm going to cover this um, and I just have a little sampling of it here but this is some burlap from a coffee bean bag and my thought is to go ahead and use this with some uh, Mod Podge I'll probably use the mat just so it's not a shiny one and then put that on the cover it completely cover the outside the back and the spine with this I just like the way it feels the texture and then you know put some embellishment on the front I don't want to fuss it up too too much that way if she wants to pack it around with her from appointments or things like that it, she doesn't have to worry about things you know falling off or being worried about you know smashing a flower or something like that so I'll try to keep it not too um, covered on the front uh, the, the items I'm going to show you are just kind of some ideas. Some, I just went around and gathered some things in my room. I'll pan this just to hopefully don't make you dizzy. Um, these are just some items I'm thinking about putting in the album. Minus that dirty rag back there, sorry. Anyway, so I'll kind of go through these here. So one thought I had was um, possibly to take this um, ornate uh, metal door plate knob from Graphic 45 maybe put it on here somehow in the front or something like that you know I'll kind of see it's kind of a creative process for me just to kind of you know have a starting point and then go from there um, just a couple things some stamps inspire I'm actually gonna have a little page inside that's gonna be kind of a um, a, a note from me to her because she has inspired me she, her, her attitude is so positive um, when she told all of us at work at the news of her diagnosis 
she was so amazingly strong and um, was almost supporting all of us around her. So she's just really inspiring to me for that matter. Um, a couple things, um, just there's like a metal embellishment, believe I want to incorporate these um, pink safety pins in there somehow um, on something. And then I have just some metal you know, clipping some black and then there's some pink. I'm going to use a variety of colors. It's mostly going to probably be kind of a um, a pink and, you know, um, kind of cream kind of color tone. I do, she likes all kinds of colors. I don't want this to necessarily scream, you know, pink, you know, um, breast cancer survivor type of thing. I mean, that's kind of the idea behind it, but I want to put some other pops of color in here as well um, as I'm going along. This here, just, this is really pretty. This is like a some glass beads like for jewelry but I'm going to put those in the album maybe string them on some kind of you know like, like a bookmark type of thing or something and my idea for this is it's pink and has this really nice texture try to get where you can see it there it's got this real nice texture on there this is actually um, a little flip mini album or um, photo album right here my thought was I'm going to use some velcro um, grab them excuse my reach here um, I'm actually going to use um, probably these real thin um, oh, Velcro strips here. Sorry, I was trying to think of the right word. Put those on the front of the book and then, um, you know, kind of attach it to the front of the album like this. That way if she wanted to pop this off and she could take, you know, some, have a little bit of uh, mementos to kind of pack with her if she wanted to take them to, you know, maybe she doesn't want to haul this the actual journal itself to maybe one of her um, treatment appointments after she has surgery. Maybe she wants to just take this small one with her that has some encouraging photos of her family, some sentiments, um, just some well wishes from, you know, friends dropping off note cards, things like that, just to kind of help encourage her if she's going through that process. So that was kind of my idea for that. And then um, this notepad here, I actually bought this for two reasons. One, not for the cover, but for this cover, because it's just so cool. It's like this real glittery pink paper. This will be fun to put in the, in the album itself. And then what I want to do is tear these pages out, put put my own um, hole punches on the side, and then slip them in there just kind of in a random order. And um, that way visitors, you know, can come in and sign their name, leave her well wish, think and every type of thing. And then she can also write down some any thoughts or anything that she has going on um, during that process for her. And then I have here some pink felt letters. You know, I'll use these throughout the album, I'm sure, just to kind of spell out some words of encouragement. Possibly use some of these word um, alphabet wood beads on there to string these on some, you know, some twine or something like that that say, you know, like hope, courage, that kind of thing. And just some random things, some butterflies, possibly some photo corners I'll probably put in there so she can slip some pictures in. I'll, um, I'll probably alter these a little bit color-wise, maybe use some distressing um, some ink staining, things like that, just to kind of make them so they don't look like they're just for, for, meant for a vintage album because they kind of look like that's what they're from. I, I think they're cool the way they look, but just to kind of make them match the book, there's just some journaling note cards in there, kind of slip those in. And then um, I actually will get to the base of what the most of the paper is going to be. It's on the bottom of this pile of stuff right here, but I'll get to that in a second. And then here's a frame so she, I might put in there so she can put a picture in there if she wants to. Um, I'm probably not going to use this one because it's black just because I don't want it to be like a dark looking album but just this idea, this is a little mini folder, um, you know I can easily make one of my own out of some you know, lighter colored cardstock. These are just some um, word uh, fabric words. These are from Prima. I've been kind of saving these because I've been saving them for a special project and this is definitely the case for that so I want to put those in the album and then just some uh, other embellishments you know, just some fun little button stickers that are just kind of encouraging some flowers. She loves to garden. Um, you know, she she loves that, so that might be kind of a fun thing to put in there for. I don't want this to be a sad thing. You know, I want it to be um, something that she can look back on that's, you know, not a happy time in her life, of course, to be going through this process, but I don't want her to... I want her to have some uplifting things in here as well. And here's some metal embellishments. They say journey you know, dream. There's, there's some fun, you know, nice positive sentiments in there. And then there's some more little danglies might hang off a page or something like that. And then these are just some cork pieces. They're purple. Might put a pop of that color in there as well. And these are obviously clearly meant for, you know, breast cancer um, album or something like that. Let's see, these are, yeah, Express Yourself, Celebrate Life is what these are from. So I'm, I'm 
definitely going to put some of these ribbons in the album for her. Um, just a variety of some, you know, alpha stickers in different colors, spelling out different sentiments or things like that. This one I picked, this is um, from Making Memories, and I am probably going to use this one here. It says it's a believe sentiment. It says, believe to put one's trust in, to accept one as fact, and three is to have faith in. And like I said, she has a really strong faith in God and I know that that would be something she would appreciate having in there for her. And the base of the album, in addition to the photo pages inside, the note paper I showed you here, and then, you know, some tags and things like that, I really want to incorporate this um, old paper. I have a stack of this I um, picked up on one of my junkin' trips. It's actually from one of the, you know, the really old vintage um, photo albums where you would actually map the pictures just on this. The, the paper itself is just a really, I don't know if I can pick it up in the camera, it's got kind of a texture. It's almost like a, like a, um, you know, like a basil type of, or coordinations type of, you know, texture on there. I thought it'd be kind of fun to obviously cut this to scale, you know, and kind of have a spot in there so you can actually put some pictures on it and, um, or maybe hang some of the tags off. So that's kind of my um, thought process for this journal. Again, you know, like I said, and then probably with a lot of people, it's just a creative journey for me in the process is just to kind of get a, an inspiration or starting point. And the album, this basic album here is that. So I will be sure to do a video when I have this album done, or journal. Um, it's going to be an altered album into a journal, but I'll do a video when I have this completed so I can um, have a video documentation of this and um, that way I can kind of keep that memory for myself and for her. So thank you for letting me share this with you and I will be back once the journal is completed. See you soon.